Hello, I'm in uh, the Inmarest uh, stall and uh, we have Inmarest and uh, Satlink and I have Mr. Ricardo from Satlink uh, who will be uh, explaining something about fleet broadband. Yeah, fleet broadband is the latest generation of products for Inmarsat for satellite communications. Uh, it's quite an improvement from the previous generation, the fleet. With this you can have voice and data simultaneously and it allows you to also connect more than one computer at the same time. So it really improves the functionality of the vessel. You can the operations of the vessel really can see an improvement on how to work with uh, your main headquarters as well as uh, if you need to communicate with other vessels, uh, you download charts, uh, temperature of uh, the water if you're in the fishing industry as well as um, uh, what the uh, weather is going to be like. And basically this unit is the latest version, latest product in the market. Um, right now you can see that um, so far there's been only two products. Uh, addressing the, the need of the, Stalin, uh, the Fleet Broadband 250 communication. Um, and with this, um, you've seen an improvement because not only does it give you the same capabilities that you have previously, but we have actually included uh, as expansion slot here, which will allow you to have value-added services. Uh, for compressing, for example, if you want to lower the price of the cost of the communications you're having, or if you want to do uh, VMS, uh, monitoring of your of your vessels, etc., uh, etc. Et it comes uh, as you can see with the router. It's uh, you have four Ethernet ports, and it comes with a dedicated handset, which allows you to make phone calls. Uh, usually, it's in, in the, with the captain, and then you have a fax as well as another uh, phone, in case you want it for the crew. Uh, the communications. The prices you get from these units is very cheap. You know, from the traffic, the it's actually about a 40% discount or savings that you will gain from the previous generations, from Fleet and especially from others like Imarsat M or, or B, uh, I mean, sorry, C. And um, we've seen that so far the market has really embraced this product. Uh, we initially expected to have, uh, you know, low entry into the market and then slowly pick up. But we have seen that the market really has a desire for this type of product. They want to improve the welfare of the crew and they really want to step up and improve their operations. And they want to be able to have the same capabilities on the vessels they did do if they were in the office. So they, we have actually quadrupled our expectations in the first three months that we launched this product. Uh, and we expect that next year things will pick up exponentially and you know the whole market will embrace the new technology that Imarsat has available to them. That's uh, great news, that's great, re really great news. Uh, do you have uh, any computers uh, for the fleet broadband services? Uh, yes, there's several co competitors in the hardware um, part of it, the business. There's uh, three major companies and we're the newcomer. Um, and fleet broadband has been around for about a year and a half. So it's, you know, it's the newest service and it's a new product, but, you know, people are, the market is quite familiar with it by now. From the airtime point of view, service providers, they're service providers globally. Some of them are more local than others. And, uh, you know, we compete with them in, in, in different areas. So in, as far as traffic goes, you know, you can see that there's um, perhaps dozens or, you know, several hundreds per, of, of companies that you compete with. Um, but in the hardware uh, area, it's basically just for companies you can choose from. So, and uh, when Mr. Ricardo, you said you mentioned about uh, Inmarist, uh, one of the like they own satellite, and they actually give they have to check if you are uh, authorized to build such machineries, right? And yet you are able to you are succeeded in uh, building a, a, a platform where Inmarist has actually collaborated with with Fleet Broadband and that to your company, that's Satlink. So. Um, that's a great accomplishment at, uh, from your side. Thank you. Um, and we hope, all, we wish all the best and uh, we hope you grow in the future. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, like you mentioned, uh, it's not easy to manufacture a product for Imarsa because they look for the best partners. You know, they want to ensure that you have the technical capability of developing a high quality product. Uh, you have to have a very solid business plan to back up, you know, the, the uh, fact that you want to be one of the manufacturers and then they will test thoroughly the product to make sure that there's no glitches uh, because you have to realize when you're at sea 
your product has to be very reliable. You know, other people are at risk sometimes, or you know, they're gonna rely on being able to communicate with uh, on the shore, the headquarters, or the vessels. Uh, if they have to talk to the coast guards, or you know, so it has to be a top, high quality product. Um, and so we're very proud that Immersat allows us to to produce this product. Uh, we have a very good relationship with Immersat for many years now, and they uh, they highly value the relationship they have with Satling, just like we do with Immersat. And um, we have fantastic reviews on this product, and you know we're just uh, like I said, the market really embraced it, and we're looking forward to next year to uh, you know just continue with our growth as a company. Flip Brabant is becoming uh, embraced by not only the, uh, the vessel owners, but it's also been embraced by, embraced by the um, governments. In Europe, this unit is being used in the fishing industry uh, for the next level of um, controlling and ensuring that the, it's a stable fishing industry. So we just got awarded uh, a contract in Ireland uh, Ireland is the first country that is using ERS. ERS is basically electronic reporting system, which um, means that every single vessel over 24 meters has to report instantly the catch they have before they can go into port. Uh, this is uh, done so we can reach sustainable, uh, sustainable uh, fishing. You know, we we are we realize that we're deploying the the fish that we have at, at sea. And you know we want to make it sustainable for the future generations. Uh, this is uh, a law in the European Community, which is going to take place starting January 1st in all countries. And this could have not done before without Philip Robin, uh, because the security you need to communicate with the fishing authorities, and because of the amount of data that you have to transmit every every year, uh, excuse me, every day and through the entire year. Um, so thanks to the saddling thanks to the fleet broadband technology, and thanks to this product that we have manufactured in saddling, uh, this can be accomplished uh, securely and a very affordable price. Which is why the Irish government has decided to use our solution uh, in order to address the needs of the European Community. In the next months, you will see that the rest of the European Community will implement these type of products and uh, these type of processes, and uh, you will see a lot more fleet broadband on board. And this will benefit not only the uh, uh, governmental agencies, fishing agencies, but you know the fishing companies will see that using this product, they will also be able to be operational uh, faster, better, and achieve uh, a lot more. So we're very pleased with, with that.